Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Cancer, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Cancer, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Cancer spirit. All right, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Cancer, you'll know exactly which side you resonate with and uh, who this person is in your life. For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, I have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So somebody feels this is over, O-V-E-R. Okay, why? Why spirit? Because one person here is very angry. They're very upset, feeling, I don't want to give this a second chance now. This is over. Maybe they caught that person in a lie or doing something they shouldn't. I'm healing my own broken heart. I don't want to stress about this anymore. Um, this is over for me. Uh, this is person A saying that. The other person is feeling, oh my God. The boat toppled. Maybe they feel things have come to an ending. They're very frustrated. They're very angry. They're very frustrated. Could be jealous. I don't know what. They don't want their person to move on towards somebody new now. Uh, they're feeling stuck, but they do still, I think, do still want to come back. I don't know how, why. Let's see. Let's clarify these cards. Uh, but Cancer first, let me ask the universe. Uh, Spirit, tell me what's going on with Cancer and their person. Why are they both feeling this way? Cancer and that person spirit. What's going on in this connection currently? The first card here says freedom. Okay, somebody maybe was uh, chasing after their own freedom. Now the other person says, I don't want to stay stuck here either. I'm going to go chase mine. Intimacy. Was somebody doing something else with somebody else? Creativity. This connection inspires creative action. Maybe somebody has to change the way they were doing things to if they want to come back or bring things back now. Let's see. I'm going to start uh, clarifying these cards for you, Cancer. But first, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then we'll clarify these cancer and their person spirit cancer and their person if they could say something to each other now what would that be cancer and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be all right let's take a few more from another deck cancer and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Okay, and just a few more from a third deck as well, and then we'll start the reading, Cancer. Cancer and their person spirit. Cancer and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right, good to go. Let's start the reading, Cancer. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, Cancer, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I don't want anyone else to have you. That's exactly what I'm seeing here on person B's side. They don't want any, they're feeling frustrated, jealous, and they don't want their person to give that lovely love to somebody else. It was a difficult decision for both of us. I may not be good enough for you. You seem to have high standards. You touched my soul. Unblock me, please. I wish you would tell me how you truly feel, as I don't want to get tarot readings on you all the time. I can't control these emotions, so I run. So maybe there was a runner in the mix, running away from commitment. 
we could have had it all. My soul always recognized you. My mind was trying to catch up. Someone like you was hard to find. My heart is broken into pieces when I see you with someone else. I imagine the type of person you'd want to be with and that person is nothing like me. You've helped me discover my psychic gifts. Thank you. I bury you with lies. I'm scared to tell you the truth. I'm slowly evolving. I'm sending you messages through lyrics of songs. I daydream about our future. All right, so these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, Cancer, let's start this reading with an angel blessing card and this one is going to be for the viewer could be you cancer watching could be your cross watcher right so a blessing guidance advice or a message for the person viewing this video spirit love maybe there is true love here or maybe the universe is sending you new love or maybe this is a message for you to acknowledge the love in your own heart and give it to yourself first love okay spirit tell me what's happening here let's start with person a's energy and newcomers please remember these are not gender based and i'm not guessing which side you're on i could be dealing with two cancers right so if this is your reading and you've been resonating you'll immediately pick up which side you're on who this person is for you and yes it can be a love interest spouse ex maybe a relative best friend boss who knows um, this is a general reading you'll have to use your own judgment it'll click if this is your reading it immediately click which side you're on and who this individual is for you so person a i'm going to focus on you first uh, tell me how are you feeling today uh, queen of wands in reverse seem to be a little upset little angry why yeah very angry person a says i'm very very angry very very angry this maybe this they found out that their person had some bad habits or the, the connection was getting toxic or something person a says i'm livid with them right now and i don't think i even want to give them a second chance here yeah they feel that their person uh, was very immature bad communicator uh, always in and out and saying things which are you know don't make sense basically and uh, person a says yep uh, this is not my true soulmate. I'm done here. I'm done with this person. I'm not going to give them a second chance because uh, they just want to keep me stuck in the situation while, you know, they can get away with doing, saying whatever they want and never take my feelings into consideration. So, yeah, person A feels that, uh, I don't know, they feel that, you know, they, they were manifesting something which was really foolish maybe. I don't know. Do you tell me, person A, why do you feel this way? Seven of Swords in reverse. They feel... They feel... Uh, they feel like a loser because they feel that person got the better of them somehow. It's like everything has to happen their way. This connection totally backfired. I mean, maybe they caught that person doing something or said something which was made them feel that no this is wrong or something like that i mean they're deeply unhappy if somewhere person a feels that none of my dreams and wishes came true here and i've been through a lot of stress a lot of anxiety a lot of sleepless nights and that's the reason omkara taro i don't want to give this a second chance in fact i want my freedom now i want to take a leap of faith maybe head off on a new direction heal my own broken heart and stop waiting for this individual who's just you know, keeping me in the dark. Three of swords in reverse. Yeah, person A says, I'm, I'm taking my energy back. I'm taking my energy back. Yeah. 
oh yes person a is kind of moving towards uh, something which makes them happy now it's like yeah now i'm free to do what i want and i want to feel happy once again i want to bring back balance and justice into my own life i'm you know chasing after my own dreams and passions and new beginnings maybe person a has already made a new friend or they're hoping to make a new friend maybe a new suitor a new love connection or something it's like yeah i know what there was to know here and uh, this was not it so i am have to put a full stop to this connection and now move on to something else which will give me the joy which will give me happiness so tell me how do you see this connection then now person a how do you see person b and how do you feel about this connection person a says not my problem i am not going to stay stuck and stressed about this thinking overthinking and wondering and uh, you know keep myself bound in chain where i'm all, always alone in the connection i've cut those ropes i've cut those ropes which were keeping me bound in chain because they were not ready to be with me for the long term anyway there was no long term happiness here eight of swords in reverse eight of swords yeah person a says i was carrying all the load i was the one carrying all the emotional burden on my shoulders hoping you know things would get fine they would commit to me sooner or later they would step up they would take responsibility they would choose me they would make a choice i just feel i wasted a lot of time energy effort i'm not investing in this anymore yep i may have loved them at one time but i'm pulling back my love now i'm going to put a lid on that cup of love because i can't be the only one loving them and all they want is passion in fact i'm losing passion for them now i wanted something that would be long lasting and clearly that's not on the table uh 10 of cups in reverse 10 of cups in reverse yeah person a says ah uh, I'm moving on. I'm getting on to my chariot now. This was just a too much conflict, too much competition, too much fighting, too much too much everything. I mean, whatever person A got to know now, I think they are allowing this tower to fall now and say, "You know what? Now I need to step back and put up boundaries for myself. Stop chasing around people who are not ready for me because I know my value and worth. I'm going to start attracting in better things for myself. In fact, person A could be already checking out new options, right? Uh they they're moving towards their own success, their own success, their own victory, feeling good, you know, kind of leaving the past behind, moving on towards happier times, balancing themselves out, healing their own broken heart. from a connection which they felt was with a liar or a cheat or a runner who put them into third parties or you know treated them like a friend or friends with benefits person a says ah uh ah -uh, i'm going for a balanced connection where i am valued i am respected so i'm not waiting around anymore i'm choosing a different direction now some my person a feels that the other person was just a liar they were stubborn they were egoistic they were pretending to be somebody that they were not okay so person a had a lot to say today okay anyway so the action that you'll finally take person a is here which i'll open later right now i'm going to go to the other side see how person b feels and then we'll do the action cards together so person b you have the 6 of swords in reverse what happened in your feelings and your emotions oh 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 person B knows because they didn't make a choice or they made the wrong choice in the past now things are going backwards instead of going forward they probably seeing that person out single and beautiful and abundant and attracting in a lot of attention really not stuck on them anymore uh, now they are i think worried that they've lost out uh yeah i don't think this person was i don't think they expected this connection to end to be very honest it's like yeah i can take my time i can take my time they never yes this person maybe in the past was not interested in maybe giving a cup of love or if they received it they kind of neglected it maybe at that time they were into their freedom you know yeah you know what i can just do what i want i'm not ready for commitment right now but um, i just want my single life and i want to enjoy myself now they don't now they don't know what to do now they're feeling unmotivated because i think the fuel to their fire was the love that they were getting from person a 
person A was the fuel that was fueling their maybe lifestyle to say, uh, I can always get that later or something. I don't need love in my life right now. But now without person A in their life, ever since person A has taken back their love, now it's like, oops, why didn't I invest when the time was, was right? I had an opportunity. Now I've lost it. Why do you feel this way, person uh, B? Knight of Swords in Reverse. What happened here? Knight of Swords in Reverse. Maybe they did or said something in the past. Maybe the, some words were exchanged or maybe now they are feeling very, very, very frustrated. They are frustrated. They are angry. They are jealous. They are irritated that maybe now they have to come back with some kind of an apology if they want person A to be with them. They are also, I think, jealous because they feel if they don't, the other person is going to move on. They are single. They are free as well. They can, they'll move on to somebody new. I don't think they want that. In fact, what they want is a second chance. They want to revive this connection. They don't want person A moving on. That's for sure. In fact, now it's like, oh my God, I miss them so much. That was my golden cup. I don't want any other. Uh, yes, earlier I thought I could play the field, but I, the, all these cups are empty anyway. I'm missing them. You no, know, no, I want to work things out. I'm, I'm ready to offer them a ten of pentacles. Basically, they're jealous because they feel now person A is single and is going to find some. This is what I feel. Okay, so tell me about the Ace of Cups in Reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups in Reverse? Same thing again. Person B is now feeling the pain. They're feeling the pain. They're feeling devastated. Going through the dark night of the soul, this person has been not expressing their emotions, keeping it, you know, hidden uh, because they were playing mind games in the past. This person was, I don't care. You know, I don't want love, I don't want commitment, but inside of them they had love, which they never expressed. Now it's like the, since person A stopped putting in the work, now they're realizing, oh, that was my wish come true. I want this, I want this commitment. I don't want them to move on and give that cup of love to somebody else. So how do you see the connection now, person B? How do you see person A now? How do you, what do you feel about this connection currently? Chariot in reverse, they feel blocked. Okay. They feel they feel that the other person who they now want, who they now see is the perfect partner for them for a life lifelong partner for them. Now they feel that the other person has turned their back towards them, has probably blocked them, and now they're feeling they're better getting some bad karma. All they can think about is how do I now reunite? How do I now have this partnership back? I mean, they are dreaming of a return, even now. Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they want one more chance. They are really missing person A. They're really, really missing person A. They want, like, give me one more shot, please. I want to fight for this connection. Am I right, person B? Yeah, they feel that they, feel that they made a mistake by not investing in the past. They should have invested when the time was right. But if, if person A would give them a second chance, they do want to work on this connection and they are ready for commitment now. They want to talk, talk to person A. They're like, let's talk. Like, I'm sorry I never made the decision earlier, but can we just talk? Can we just talk? But right now, I think they're feeling blocked. So um, they're trying to figure out a way to get themselves unblocked. They could be spying, they could be watching. Maybe they are seeing person A as uh, really doing well in their life or shining really bright or getting a lot of attention. And that is now making them feel worse. Now they feel, oops, I'm the one who's getting left behind. Right? So they want to come back and address all the problems that happened in this connection. And yes, they, they do want to take action. They want to now tell person A everything which they never did like express themselves. They are gathering up the courage because they know that it's going to take a lot of courage because they are expecting person A to either push them away or keep boundaries up now. So they may start a little small, sneak their way back in kind of a thing. So tell me, spirit, let's see the actions these guys will take then. I'm going to take another deck for this one, uh, Cancer. 
and while I shuffle this deck now may I please request you remind you if you could just tap the thumbs up button for me please helps the videos to circulate keeps me motivated to do more readings for you cancer and newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in so person A action from your end towards person B or otherwise in your own life Queen of Cups in reverse. Person A says, they took my love for granted. I'm absolutely depleted. I have nothing else left to give them anymore. They emptied my cup. So, Queen of Cups in reverse. Well, Person A is definitely not going to be the one to come and give them any more or be the first one to approach. Eight of Wands, King of Swords, okay. Page of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Person A actually secretly would like a conversation if person B was the one to initiate the conversation. If they would reach out with respect, maybe send a message that, hey, can we talk kind of a thing. And if they kind of spoke their truth and had this communication, it would actually make person A very happy. It would like validate them. I don't know whether they will agree or not agree, but right now they're saying, right now I, I'm, I'm depleted. I don't have the energy to give any more to this connection, but I would be willing to hear them out. In fact, that would make me feel good just to know what's going on. Like I've been getting maybe tarot readings on them and I want to hear it now from their own mouth. So at least... You know, if person A has been on crossroads, still stuck and, you know, uh, energetically still stuck on this connection, then they can make a informed decision as to what, what is right for them. I think person A somewhere energetically got stuck because there was no closure from the past. It would make them feel a sense of victory and happiness if at least there was a conversation which could either be a closure or maybe a new beginning. So right now I think person A says, I'm confused, I'm stuck. So person B, what about you? Action from your end towards person A or otherwise in your own life. Hermit in reverse. What's the hermit in reverse? Action can go a lot of ways hermit in reverse could be could be them feeling they made some very unwise and foolish choices could could be them feeling very lonely and sad could be them uh, not isolating themselves and coming towards person a so which which one is it for you person b tell me what is the hermit in reverse for you queen of wands page of pentacles ace of wands and the eight of swords and the ace of cups and the nine of swords. Oh, this person, they will definitely come. I think they're expecting competition though. They are expecting competition. So they are very, very drawn to person A who they are seeing, like I said, are really successful, getting a lot of attention, maybe looking really good with a revenge body or something, I don't know. So they, they are itching to take action. Uh, why? Because they are little worried that if they don't, they're going to lose out person A to a new love. They're very worried about that. In fact, they're having stress, sleepless nights, tension, and they feel, you know what? I better go and claim. I, I better go and claim what is mine. I better go and show them that I am. I am their emperor. I am their true partner. And I have a feeling this person is going to step it up. They are 100% sure that if they don't take action, somebody else will and person A will be lost forever. They don't want that person to move on to a new love. This person is evolving, yes. And I think the minute they are ready, they will be sending a message or something and saying, hey, can we talk? And this time around, they are ready. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Cancer. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.